So the planer. The planer's primary job is to remove thickness, which means that if I have a board like this that is three quarters of an inch thick and I want it a half an inch, I can run it through the planer and I can take that thickness away from it. The planer is a fairly simple tool to use. Um, the idea is similar to a joiner, where you've got a cutter head in here, you've got an in-feed table and an out-feed table. The board goes through here and there are pressure rollers in there that pull the board in. The cutter head is up top and so it's going to cut the top piece as it's running through and then it's going to come out on the outfeed table. Now a major difference between a planer and a joiner is that the infeed and the outfeed table are at the same height so you're going to get a parallel cut the whole way through. So what happens is if you have a board that is not flat, as it's going through and it's taking that top section off, it's basically pushing down and it's just going to push down on that twist and leave the twist in there. but take a little bit off. So before you use the planer, you need to make sure that your board is flat on at least one side. Okay, so safety precautions on the planer. A couple of things we want to make sure. One, you never want to put your hands inside the machine. You have an in-feed table here. As you're feeding your board in, you want to hold it down to the in-feed table, but my fingers are never going to go down in there. If my board gets stuck in there, I'm not gonna reach in, and I'm gonna grab a push stick, and I'm gonna push my board through. The push stick should be thinner than the material that you're actually planing. A couple of other things that we wanna make sure we talk about. You only plane with the grain, okay? So I'm never going to go across the grain because that cutter head can get caught in the grain and it can pitch your board. So always with the grain, never end grain. Same thing, it can get caught in there, so we don't wanna do end grain. Okay, so let's talk safety on the planer. A couple of things that we wanna make sure. We wanna make sure we have eye protection. We wanna make sure that we have ear protection. This is the only machine in my shop that requires ear protection, although it's recommended for many others. It is also important that you have dust collection. If you don't have dust collection, or you don't have your dust collection turned on, it's gonna clog up the cutter head, which can cause pitting in your board as the chips build up and catch the blade. When we make cuts on here, the minimum length that you can run through this is 12 inches. And the reason for that is there are two rollers down at the bottom, and if the board cannot hit both of those rollers at the same time, it's gonna jam up in there, and it can cause kickback, and it can ruin your machine. So again, check your manual to find out what the minimum length of board that can go through your machine is. This one is 12 inches. Also, planing something that's less than a half an inch, you can get some warp into it, you're gonna get a lot more snipage. So um, there are jigs that you can use if you have to get something smaller than that. Um, but rule of thumb, we don't want to plane anything that's less than a half an inch thick. Your hand should never go inside the machine on this side or on that side. And we really only want to take about a half turn to a full turn on each pass with the planer. Okay, so I've got this board here that I want to make a little bit thinner. Well, one, you can see on this board that it is skinnier here than it is here. So we're gonna take that out of it on the planer. And also I wanna make sure that this is all one inch total. So I have jointed one side, it's nice and flat on this side, so I can cut and square this side. So I'm gonna to go to my widest portion here and I am an inch and three eighths, so I'm gonna set it to an inch and three eighths. Put on my ear protection, open my dust collection, and turn it off. Okay, and there you have it. So we've taken this board that we flattened one side on the joiner and we've now run it on the planer so that we have a one inch thick board all the way around. And that's how the planer works. 
If this has been helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.